Hey guys, Brian here at the Butcher Shop. Today we got a special treat for you. Today we're gonna to talk about pork crown roast. For those of you who don't know what a pork crown roast is, we're about to go through it and show you what it is. A couple things we're gonna use. Roll of butcher twine, a couple nice bone-in pork loins, 10 ribs on each side for a total of 20 ribs, our needle for our string, and of course, our pork sausage to go in the center, guys. And last but not least, Little apple on top to set off that display and make it look top notch, guys. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our bone and pork loin here, just the way it comes to us. We're gonna go ahead and start by taking the uh, skin off these ribs, just like we do with all of our baby back ribs. Gonna remove that skin off there. Gonna do the same on this side over here. Gives that rib a little bit nicer bite, a little bit of better palate in your mouth. We're going to come over here and we're going to trim off the uh, tail portion of this pork loin and expose those ribs so we can give it that crown feel. These are one of my favorite things to make. I think they have a real nice appeal to them. They look great on your plate. They're just fun to make, guys. Now by taking this tail piece of meat off here, it's going to open up these ribs and you're going to see these nice crowns come to life. We only use the best pork we can find, just like everything we source here. We only use natural pasture-raised pork, ensuring that we get the best quality possible for you guys on your plate. That way everything is the best it can possibly be. When this thing's fully constructed with the stuffing inside, it's about 14 pounds. So you can figure your portion sizes accordingly. We can't really make them a whole lot smaller just because we won't be able to get that crown. But if you're looking for the same style of thing with a nice French rack, we can always do a standing pork rack for you. You'll probably very rarely see these in the counter, guys, but we always have them. Just give us a call ahead. Let us know that's something that you might like to have. Just need about 48 hours notice, guys. We can get one made up for you. We always have the pork. We'll make a fresh batch of stuffing. We'll get this thing dialed in for you. That way we make sure that everything is just as fresh as possible for you going into your oven. That way when it comes out, it's just the absolute perfect roast for you. These are more popular at the holidays, but it could just be a random Tuesday. We can get one for you whenever you need one. Just let us know, give us a phone call, touch base with us and we'll get one made up for you. All right, so now we got our pork loins go ahead and cleaned up. You see these ribs are all exposed now. A little bit further clean, we'll have these dialed in, but we're gonna go ahead and tie these together now. All right, we're gonna take our old fashioned meat needle here that we got from Uncle Leo. Been in the meat business a long time, passed it down to me, real pleased to have it. We're gonna go ahead and put this first string in to establish our roast and get it set up so we can build, begin to build the crown. All right, now we have our string started. We're gonna roll this guy up and we're gonna basically turn it inside out. Give him a little bit of shape here. One more string on the opposite end to go ahead and establish the round shape. So when you go to cook these, I always default to 350. It's always a good safe borderline. You can always heat it up a little bit more if you need to. Uh, you want to cook this internal temperature to at least 145 degrees. I recommend just a little bit hotter than that. It's going to take you about 12 to 14 minutes roughly per pound. We can give you the way of the roast so you know exactly how long you need to cook this roast. That way when it comes out, it's not all dry. It'll be nice and juicy and tender for you just the way you like it. All right, you guys can see it coming together here now. I'm going to go ahead and put a string around the entire circumference of this thing so we can go ahead and hold it shaped while it cooks in the oven. Okay, now that we have our nice circular crown here, you can see we have all of our ribs sticking up like a crown. That's where it gets its name. Center here, we're going to go ahead and fill up with our house made stuffing with our pork sausage in it, celery and other good items here. Then we're going to go ahead and top that off with a nice garnish right on top. What goes better with pork than a little bit of apple, some cinnamon, some stuffing, just to set this crown off, help keep it shape while it's in the oven roasting for you. So today we have a nice, lovely honey crisp apple going on top, made into a swan by Chef Matthew here at the butcher shop. We're gonna dress this right on top. 
set them in there. I don't recommend cooking the apple with the roast. I re recommend pulling that off, setting it aside during the cooking. Go ahead and put it on top when it comes out. It'll be nice golden brown. You'll have this beautiful red apple come out. It'll look fantastic for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a tray and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay guys, and here's our nice finished pork crown roast. I can taste it already. I can smell it already. Someday we'll have smell vision. You'll be able to smell it come right through your YouTube channel. Man, you're just gonna wanna rush right down here and get a pork crown roast. Give us a call, order one up. Let us know if you need one. Heck, it could just be a random Tuesday. Surprise the wife, cook a roast for her. It could be a holiday order, whatever the case may be. Let us know, get a pork crown roast, check it out. You will not be disappointed, guys. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. I appreciate it and look forward to seeing you soon.